Okay, cool. So yes, how are you guys? Are you guys okay out there? Yeah, we're good. Okay? We still are not in lockdown, which I think we should be, but <laughs> really? Yeah. No. So people are there's lots of people out and about still. And I don't think they should be. Are are they kind of like rushing to the stores and hoarding everything? Is that is that what you're seeing at this Yeah, point? yeah. The shelves are pretty bare. How about you? Okay, yeah. We 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 uh experienced that maybe maybe a week ago. Actually the last two weeks. Actually actually two weeks ago is kind of when it started and then and then last week the stores, you know, kind of weren't as bad as far as the shelves and products. But um I think well, we're supposedly on lockdown, you know, now, but I still see people out, but there's still so many things that are closed, but, um, the stores are open and, and shelves are restocked, but it was, it was maybe two, two and a half weeks ago when just, there was nothing at the store and it was like freaky. It was weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weird feeling. I don't like it. <laughs> right? I don't either. And, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm that type to stay optimistic and stay positive. And, and this whole time I didn't even watch the news until, until maybe maybe a few days ago and that's when I was like wow this thing is bigger than you know bigger than big and yeah and and as as positive as I think I am it's like man like the news you watch that thing for 10 minutes and you're freaking going out of your mind you know yeah yeah I don't watch it I I do not I can't but my mom does she's at home by herself and oh my Mm -hmm. goodness right (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> Same with my mom. My mom and my dad, they're they're glued to that. And it's like, man, you, you can't. I mean, no. Yeah. I, you know, I'm I'm totally, you know, into, you know, compassion and having empathy for, you know, for what's going on. But at the same time, it's like I gotta protect my own mindset because if exactly. I go crazy, my whole family's gonna go crazy, <laughs> you know. So exactly. Yeah. I and you don't know who to believe anyway. So Yeah. So it right, right? You don't yeah. know. Right. <laughs> and so and so the last few days I've just been been just following and watching YouTube videos of actual like mentors that I follow, like like the Robert Kiyosaki's or like the Mark Cubans, like like even the Bill Gates, like trying to trying to get information from them on on uh-huh. how they're you know approaching this whole thing rather than you know the ten o'clock news. Yeah, you know, I think that's so, a good way to go. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. So, <laughs> and and listening to these guys to tell you the truth, they made me feel so much better. Like they they just have because entrepreneurs and and especially like multi multi successful ones, you know these millionaires and billionaires, like they they have a completely different look and 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 perspective on on what's really going on. And so, yeah, l- watching a few of those guys and, and just listening to, to their perspective actually made me feel better. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've done the same. I've been listening to podcasts and just yeah, trying to yeah. stay positive. Yeah. Good, 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 good. So what do you got going on? What, what are you, what are you stuck on or what are you, what are you looking to do next? Okay. So we did, I did Rochelle's video and then I wasn't sure what to do next. I know I wanted, we were doing that to create like a custom audience. And I think I did that, but I'm not sure if I did it right. Okay. Let's, um, why don't you share your screen? Let me okay. stop my share. Go ahead and, and share your screen and, and I'll just kind of walk you through on your end. Okay. Let's see. I got her pulled up somewhere. I'm going to cancel this. Um, yeah, so I was watching some of your videos last night too. They were so good. Um, oh, thank you, Shelly. Yeah. And I was liking them all, all of them as I went. So then I saw where you said to do this. I'm like, okay, I didn't do that. But, um, cause I, th- I think now I need to do conversions, right? Yes. Conversions. You want to set up a, a custom conversion and that's going to be around, that's going to be on the actual URL, the actual page that people land on after they buy. Okay. Yeah. I was like, okay, Great. I didn't do that. So I created this audience. Um, so you did, you did a lookalike audience. That audience may not, may not be available right now. Um, okay. Only because the custom audience is, it's what is what it's based on is what uh-huh. it's based off of. I should say the lookalike audience is based off of the custom audience. And your custom audience right now may not have a ton of people in it just yet. Okay. Um, even though we might think it's a, it's a good amount, it might not be that. I think there's a certain amount. Actually, you know what? To tell you the truth, I think, I, I think you might have enough. I think, I think the views is a, is a thousand views. I think it's a thousand views 
on a custom audience, as long as a thousand people viewed it and now those people are in a custom audience, we can build a lookalike audience around it. Okay. It did so, I do that too here? Is that what I did? Yes. So people who watched the video, okay. so click on, click on that real quick. And so what you did, well, actually you, you created a lookalike audience. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you created a lookalike audience around it. Um, so I need to do a custom audience of people who watched it. Yeah, we need to do a custom audience for sure. And okay. then the lookalike audience will come after. Okay. But, but even right now, so that's what I'm, I'm trying to really say is the fact that right now it's just, it's just one video, right? It's just one video. Or even, mm -hmm. if it, if, even if it was a couple videos, we're still new into the game. We're still new into the advertising of, of these videos. So the custom audiences alone will do you good. Like you can do, you can do very, very well for a long time just on the custom audiences. The only reason why you go into a lookalike audience is when you pretty much max out and, and now, and now we're, you know, we're making, you know, 200, 300 cells a month. And now we're looking to go to 500, 600 cells a month. Okay. Okay. So, I remember so you saying that now. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's when we can then take that custom audience and, 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 and clone it and just simply duplicate it. And, and that's the lookalike audience. So, so you're far away from a lookalike audience, even me right now with as much traffic as I'm putting in, as far as the, the, you know, the viewers on my end, I'm still kind of far away from, from needing to create a lookalike audience. Okay. Okay. That makes so, sense. So the custom audience is, is, is fine for, for right now, for sure. Okay. Uh, and so, so I would use that custom audience that I have not created yet and then do a conversion ad. Yes, that's what you, you can do for sure. Um, let's see these. Okay, so 50% of people who watched, which, so then all of, and, and here's another, another tip as well. You want to try to keep this list as clean as possible. So okay. if there happens to be one in there that is not going to be one you use, or if you set up one that's not correct, I would just delete it, delete it. And, okay. and, and try to just keep this list as clean as possible. Just so, just so you're not confused. Yeah, you know? exactly. So um, I'll just delete those and start over. Okay. And then I created the other ones after our call um, of all like the, the custom URLs you were telling me. Okay. On which, on which one? Remind me. Oh, um, just like um, of the checkout page, the cart oh, visitors. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. 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 So you got, so you got ad payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart. See, so those, those all sound the same to me. Add payment info, initiate checkout, add to cart visitors. Uh-huh. So, so those, those three, it should, it should just be one, but you have three. Okay. Um, unless those are three different pages. Are they, are they three different pages? I think so. Does it say in here what the URL is? Or? Yeah. It'll, yeah. If you click on it, it'll, it'll tell you what the, so if you scroll down, let's click on, click on, um, click on edit. Okay. So there's no, there's no link in there. Okay. So I didn't set it up. Right. Okay. So we didn't set it up the right way. So okay. let's, let's, um, make a note of that, but delete that or okay. actually, you know what? Leave it, leave it. Let's leave it and, and just go to, um, go to the actual URL. Like, do you have the pages open? So like this would be when they look at the callers. And see what what you see what you see at the top that URL. Uh huh. That's a good way to to title it to title your custom audience as well. Place your order. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'll yeah. know like what the heck I'm talking about. Exactly. Okay. So so that's one URL. That's one page. Uh huh. And then when they click on cart, they go to the next page. So this one could be place your order, and then they click on cart, and then they come here. This right here is cart this needs to be a custom audience as well. Okay. And then you only copy this part, right? The actual WWW take, take, you do that. Take, yeah. Take that part too. Okay. Um, 
yeah, you yeah, t- you could take the www for sure. Just the okay. https is not really necessary. So then this would be exactly what what it says there in the in the in the URL cart. So let's just put add to cart. So why don't you just edit the it's actually the initiate. Yeah, it could be that one, but then you also have that that initiate checkout. So now we have uh-huh. two, which doesn't need to be two. It could just be one. It could just be add to cart. Okay. So it doesn't have to be an or or it could be initiate checkout. However you however you want to label it, but I would label it based on what that URL says. You know, so you're not confused. And go here, edit. Yeah. So click on edit, and then let's let's that add to cart hit that drop down and then go to people who visited specific pages oh, and then okay. paste it right there okay and then okay. add to cart yeah add to cart perfect awesome so then right here it's telling you yes you can create a lookalike audience around it but mm-hmm. you don't need to do that right now okay like let's okay. just, let's just build up that audience. Like we could build up that audience. I mean, it's gonna take like again, it's not like you guys are spending, you know, a thousand dollars a day. You're not even spending a hundred dollars a day. Mm-hmm. Right. So that custom audience is not it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a long time before there's before there's tens of thousands of people in that custom audience. There's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a long time before there's thousands of people in that custom audience. So therefore a lookalike audience isn't necessary right, right now. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I can go back and fix those um, later. And then... Do the purchase one real quick. Open up that purchase. purchase. Here, okay. Yeah. So let's hit edit. And then do I go... Yes. Yeah, so now, I don't know if you can get to it from here unless you purchase it. I mean, if you go and purchase, then you'll obviously see the thank you page, but if you go into the settings of the website, that's okay. where you would get it, the URL. So in that, in this case, the purchase, we're looking for the thank you for ordering page. I don't know if she has one. Yeah, she, she definitely, should for sure for sure for sure every every page should have because when i go and purchase the collar i got to be taken somewhere after it yeah right okay so if anything if you can't find it there Mm -hmm. just reach out to her and say rochelle i'm gonna need you to purchase your product (laughs) and see where it takes you i wonder if i can just create a discount that makes it like um, hundred percent off. Yeah. Yeah. Like 99, 99% off. <laughs> yeah. Make it free. Okay. And then I'll do that. And then I'll put that in here. Yeah. Then it would go, then you'd go people who visit specific pages that okay. URL would go right there and that would be Kimberlyn purchase. Okay. Yes. And then those are the people you would exclude. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. See, I was watching your videos. <laughs> you, were. <laughs> you were great job, great job. And I try to, I try to make it because my whole, my whole niche and 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 who I really, you know, as far as clients. That's why I told Rochelle, I'm like, man, I could help you with all this, but at the same time, it's way more than what I want because I, I, I just stick to real estate agents. Yeah. But, but on my YouTube channel, I try to make it as general as as possible when I'm explaining this stuff, so it can help, you know, obviously any business. Yeah. Okay. I'll fix that later. So you don't have to sit here and watch me trying to find that page. No, it's Um, all good. It's all good. (laughs) And then, okay. So once I have those custom audiences fixed, Mm -hmm. um, then do I, what do I do next? Then you can simply go and run any ad you want and either, and here's what I would do any future ad. So now, now we rolled out one video, one ad, and now we have some custom audiences that are set in place. So ad number two, what I would do is I would include these audiences of, init- of, of initiate checkout or add to cart. And you know what? what go back to the ad. See, and that's, that's why you're going to need, you're going to need to know what that confirmation page is. Yeah. Because here's what you want to do. Go back to add to cart. 
and and delete one of those. Either delete the add to cart or delete the initiate checkout because you don't okay. you don't need both of those. Okay. Um, but but when you when you come to this one, so th is this the add to cart? Uh huh. It, yeah. So click on the edit real quick. Here's what's super important as well. Um, this right here is telling Facebook that these people added to cart, and that's the URL. But what we also want to do now here's because here's here's the thing, there there's there's two types of people. One person added to cart, the second person added to cart, and also purchased. Mm -hmm. So what we're telling Facebook right here is we're saying, hey, just put everybody who added to cart into this audience, when that's not exactly the truth, because everybody added to cart. The person number one added to cart, and person number two who actually purchased added to cart as well. That's true, yeah. So so what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to exclude people who actually purchased. Okay. So that makes it a more precise and cleaner audience of specific. Like this person added to cart, but mm -hmm. they never saw the confirmation page. So that's when we're going to come to exclude people, hit the exclude to the right in blue. That's when you'll put the purchase link right there. So all website visitors, people who visit specific pages, and then that right there, that URL is the purchase, the confirmation, the thank you for, for buying. Okay. That URL goes right there. Okay. And then do you change the days or do you just? You can go 180. You can, okay. you can go 180. Um, yeah, because because now yeah, you can go 180. So now now we're telling Facebook, hey man, these people are just add to carts. They never purchased. And so okay. now to answer your earlier question, when we go run the next ad, we know to include this audience because this audience are not people who purchased. They're only gotcha. people who added to cart but left for, for whatever reason, you know? Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so so yeah, knowing that purchase page, that purchase URL is very very important. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to figure what figure out what that is. Yeah, and and that's gonna go. That's you're gonna you're gonna exclude that URL on the add to cart audience. Um, you're going to exclude that on the ad payment info if that's a completely different URL. If that's a completely different, is that different ad payment info? Is that a different page versus the add to cart? Yeah, it's it is right. Check out. Yeah, yeah, yeah check out. Perfect. So, um, is that what you? Why I probably you, didn't do it right though. <laughs> you click on it, and also edit the title. Let's let's really name it what what it is. So yeah, add payment info. Click on that drop down, and and yeah, go to specific page, and then grab that. Yeah, grab that URL. Unshared it. There we go. And so on this one as well, we want to exclude the purchase page. Okay. Okay. So. But I don't so know. Why don't you, yet, why don't you change that title yeah. as well? Change that title okay. just so it matches the URL. Um. So go back to edit. Uh, no. Here? Yeah. Oh, I'll do it in there. Okay. Yeah. So just write there, name your audience. Oh, okay. Rather than add payment info, just why don't you just check out. out? Check out. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So remember to exclude the purchase page. Um, and then the lead, what do you have? What's that based on? Kimberlyn lead. Yeah, no idea. We'll okay. see. Delete that one. <laughs> <laughs> Things right, and it didn't lead, whatever that means. Yeah. It, that 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 right there would be good if if you were actually capturing leads, um, which you are. I mean, people who purchase your product, those are leads. Those are people that you're going to be able to email in the future, different products. Uh -huh. But in this case, with what you guys got going on, it's it's just it's just we're just making sales. So yeah, it's not a custom audience and a lead that you really need to need to list. So 
people who watched perfect that's the video and what are you basing that on are you what what's the per, or like the percentage or the amount of views like click on it real quick so you're basing this on yeah click on edit okay like i don't know what i did okay so people who watch 15 seconds of it perfect so but but also you want to put that in the audience name okay. so make sure you're you're detailed about that perfect like that? perfect okay. Perfect. Okay, so now we know we can look at that audience and say, okay, boom, 15 seconds. That's who we want to retarget. Okay. Okay, cool. So so now once you in, once you add the exclude, mm -hmm. the purchase, the confirmation, thank you for ordering, you're gonna add that on the checkout, you're gonna add that on the add to cart. Um, you're gonna even add that on the website visitors, um, and even on the micro original micro prong. Okay. Because again, everybody gets to that part, even if they purchased. So I have to be very specific and, and, and exclude the people who actually purchased. Okay. Okay. So, so that right there looks really good. Once you include the exclude, once you include the exclude, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's perfect. And then, and then when you go run your next ad, then you can, you can, um, you could start you could start doing conversions you could start doing conversions or you can or you can start doing traffic and and so let's go hit the three lines on the top left real quick okay and then go to ads manager okay and then let's click the green button so i had st started one and i'm like i'm not doing this right so <laughs> Yeah, hit start over. Start over. Yeah. So here's kind of here's kind of how Facebook how how the next step works. Step two, Facebook ad number two, and on. Now, to really for for a business that actually has you know a budget that's not really stressing on their last dollar, which a ton of businesses obviously are at these times, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people are, are down to the last dollar, and and but at the same time, I truly believe you still need to stay top of mind. Like I literally just dropped a video a, an hour ago talking about this, talking about how so many businesses right now are losing their behind, but the ones who actually stick it out and the ones that actually take their marketing even more seriously right now are the ones who are going to win. And I'm talking about this in my, in my video that I just dropped an hour ago. I'm talking about how if you need to go sell something, if you need to open up your garage, if you need to open up your closet, if you need to open up, you know, something to go sell to open up a budget for this month of April, then do it. Go sell some junk in your garage to, to, to give you a Facebook ad budget, right? Because what I'm talking about is, is the fact that very few are advertising right now. The ones that are, are the ones that are going to win. So, and then, and then I mentioned video views. So for those that don't have a huge, huge budget right now and, and you're running video, run more video views. So you can start creating more audiences. That's what I, what I really, really recommend. But if you don't have a, a, you know, more videos, and actually, let me ask you, what's your next ad? What do you guys plan on doing, an image or do you plan on doing another video? Well, she had a video, but it was just about, she was just showing like outside where mm -hmm. she makes the collars and you know it's rural mm -hmm. america type thing mm -hmm. good and it is that a good one you yeah, think yeah those are that i'm telling you those raw authentic on your cell phone type of videos are powerful okay like those are powerful and and so many businesses so many try like i'm telling you like so many try to do it so professional where they have a camera guy and and it's a professional editing and all that stuff like I'm just convinced that it's that social media marketing is actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. And and especially right now when you're trying to market on a shoestring budget and you don't have the fancy equipment to, to produce video, especially now, like good thing is you don't need to. So little random videos on your cell phone go a long way. Like those are perfect. Those are perfect. Uh -huh. But what I'm really trying to say is the fact that right now you're just, you're just starting out. So the, the audiences and even the Facebook pixel needs to warm up. Like it needs to know more of who, what type of, of, of customer you, you're, you're, you're after. Like, even though you put in your targeting, even though you're, you're, you're targeting the right interest and, and the right location, 
Facebook still needs to know who your ideal customer is. Just because we put in dog interest or we put in dog lovers or whatever it may be, it doesn't mean that they're going to like your product, mm -hmm. right? So Facebook, they're going to give you the, per, the, 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 the interest. They're going to give you the targeting. They're going to give you the demographics. They're going to give you all that based on what you put in. But as far as who likes your product, they don't know that yet. So that's why the pixel and the custom audiences are so important. So what I'm saying is that video views is what started this. That's, that's ad number one. But, mm -hmm. but you may want to you may want to run a couple more videos just so you can build even more audiences, which will make your, your, your targeting even more better. And so right now you ran one video that's video views. We have a custom audience. Normally you would go into conversions. So 99% of the time from ad, let's just call it ad number two and on 99% of the time it would be conversions, right? Mm -hmm. But because Facebook doesn't know exactly who your customer is because number one, we haven't made a sell yet. And number two, we haven't been running ads that long. So Facebook doesn't know who your conversion is. They don't know who exactly that ideal customer is just yet. So with that being said, you may want to start off with traffic. And, and now, so ad number two, you would run it under traffic and that learn more button would go straight to that product. Okay. And so after you run ad number two, ad number three, maybe even ad number four, and you run that under traffic, directing traffic straight to the product. And then once you start making sales, then Facebook's going to know, okay, and, and now your pixel is going to have more data. So Facebook's going to know, okay, these are the type of people who are purchasing. So, so to, so, so ad number five and on, let's say, for example, ad number five and on would be all conversions because now Facebook knows who's converting. They know the type of person that actually landed on these pages. Right now, we're giving them the URL. We gave them the URL for the add to cart. We, we're going to give them the URL for the thank you for ordering. That's giving them the URL, but no one has landed on it yet. So until people actually land on it, conversions may not be may not be the objective right now it may it may be traffic and that's why right now from ad number two i would encourage you to test both of them if if we have a if we have a if we have a ten dollar a day budget you're going to do five dollars a day on traffic and five dollars a day on conversions okay and and and, and, and you're gonna and you're gonna retarget your custom audiences but again the reason why i'm telling you all that is because the custom audiences that we have are not that big yet Gotcha. It's not like hundreds of like, like, and, and, and what I mean big is, is, is tens of thousands of people landing on a specific URL. We don't even have, we don't even have thousands. We don't even have hundreds. We don't even have hundreds of people yet who have landed on a specific URL. Right. So, yes. so, so traffic, we got to get some traffic going. We got to get some traffic going. And so normally people would go straight into conversions. And that's why I want you to test it, run it $5 a day, go for maybe, maybe seven days, seven to 10 days under conversions, and then do another one, $5 a day, seven to 10 days under traffic. And that's ad number two, same, okay. same image or same video, same text, same everything, but two different objectives, two different ads. Okay. And, and, and so you'll, 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 you'll retarget the custom audience, but again, the, the custom audience, it's, it's not that big yet. It's not that big yet. So we got it. We got to just, we got to just, we got to get it bigger. And the way we're going to get it bigger is, is, is through traffic or through more video views, but, but really, really traffic because it's, it's the traffic that's driving the people to the actual pages. The video views was just to drive people to the video. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we paid to get people to view the video. And, and now on the back end, we're creating audiences around everyone who actually viewed it. Now we got to drive traffic so the pixel can start recognizing these URLs. And okay. once that happens, then it's game time. Once we get that pixel knowing who the heck is landing on these URLs, then 99% of the time from that point on, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it ad number I'm going to call it ad number four and five, like from ad four, ad five and on, 
that's when 100% of the time it's conversion ads. And you can, and, and, and you're retargeting everyone and you're running conversion. Okay. Okay. But, so, but that custom conversion has to be set up and that custom conversion is set up around the thank you for purchasing URL. Okay. Because as you come in here and we choose conversions and then we go to step two and that's the ad set. It's at the ad set that we're going to pop in that URL or that custom conversion that we set up, which is people who landed on the purchase page. Okay. Right. So all I'm saying is that Facebook doesn't know the type of person who has landed on the purchase page because no one's landed there yet. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So I would for sure test, te te test them, test them both. Um, and, 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 and this is, this is, this is, this is where our budget goes. So as a, as a business owner opens up a few hundred a month, it's not a few hundred a month on one ad. It's a few hundred a month on multiple ads Okay. to see which one is our, is our, is our home run hitter. And, 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 um, and what you also want to do just, just, I mean, this is a little bit more advanced, but as you go in and set up these ads it happens on the ad set level which is which is the second step mm -hmm. and it happens on the the third step which is the ad level as you get a little bit more advanced in the ad set for example and 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 and, and this is all in in the same setup so we choose the objective let's say let's say it's traffic and then we go to the second step which is ad set and now we're choosing our audience our placements and our budget and schedule a little bit more advanced is when you're now setting up an ad set and targeting people who love dogs. And then we're, we're, we're duplicating that and we're creating another ad set all in the same ad. We're creating a second ad set and we're targeting dog lovers or we're targeting dog trainers. So, it, so it's one keyword per ad set. And you can do that in within the same ad. Within the same ad, as you're setting up everything, you're gonna you're gonna come to the ad set, audience placements, budget and schedule, and then all you're gonna do is duplicate it. And now, rather on on one, you're you're targeting people who have an interest in dogs. On the second ad set, you're targeting people who love dogs. And then and then when you and, and that's why this is advanced because this is where you're gonna eventually you know be headed you're going to go this direction and then you're going to set up a third ad set. And on this third ad set, you're targeting a specific type of dog. And so now we have three ad sets, which are, which are really, which, which is technically three different interest groups. So rather than setting up three completely different ads, we're going to just set up three different interests that we're targeting in individual ad sets. Okay. But that's a yeah, little saw, bit more advanced. I saw one of your videos yesterday. You said, yeah, to, to go for like an, an interest, um, a profession. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Is that what you were talking about there? That's what I was talking about. So, okay. so, so, and, and those would be all three different ad sets all within this one ad, because the way we're going to set it up now and the way you set up the video view, for example, you set it up under one ad set, you were targeting, you know, one specific, maybe you targeted a bunch of words, but a key, you know, interest, maybe you, maybe you targeted a bunch, but at the same time, um, actually, you know what, let's go to it real quick. Let me, let me take a look at that, at that ad. Cause this okay. is, I'll walk you through this real quick. Cause this is, even though you're not going to really need to do this at this second, but, but, but again, if, if, a, if, a, if a business had, has the budget and I'm talking, let's just say 500, 600, 700 a month, then this is what you would be doing for sure. Out the gate. Like out the gates for sure. This is the best way to, to do it. But right now, if you're just starting small, then just do one ad set and, and, and warm, up, warm up that pixel and really see if, if, you can, if anything happens out of that. But go to, which, which is the one? So is it targeted ad from video? Which one? Is, is, is the one we did was the Ellie Walk. Okay, perfect. So, so just check the box to the left. Okay. And then open up the ad set, the second tab. Yeah. That uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, and then click on, um, so go to the link. Ali walk video new and then under hit edit. 
So what I'm saying by multiple ad sets is in this, scroll down. Yeah, see, if you guys are spending 20 bucks a day, you guys, you guys for sure. So, so here's my point. Here's my point. Here's how you would do multiple ad sets. Rather than if you, let, let's see, scroll down. Where's the targeting? Where did you, um, who did you target? You target United States and then, and then you targeted, okay, scroll down. Interests, hobbies. Okay, doc. So here's my point. Here's my point. You're spending $20 a day on that interest. What I'm saying is rather than $20 a day, I would spend $5 per day on four different interests. Okay. So we wouldn't put the four interests here. We would set them up individually. So this one ad set is dogs. That's $5 a day, all within the same ad. We're going to set up a second ad set, and that second one is going to target dog lovers. And then that third one, we're going to target a specific dog. And then maybe the fourth one, we're going to target the biggest Facebook page. So that's what you want to also look into. What Facebook business page, dog page, has the most people who like it? Because there's some dog pages out there that have millions of people who like the page. That's what you also want to do. So you want to, so the fourth ad set, for example, could be targeting people who follow that page. Okay. And now we have our $20 being spent in four different ways, targeting four different interests. And at the end of the five days, six, seven days, I would go maybe, let's just say, I mean, at $5 a day, you want to maybe let it run for at least maybe seven days, but at least at, at the end of the seven days, one of them is going to pop off. You're going to be able to look at the analytics and, and, and out, of, out of the four, you're going to have one of them that are cr that's crushing it for you. Okay. And, then, and then at that point, you turn off the other three. Okay. Does that make sense? Now, that's mm -hmm. a little, <clears throat> but, but at the same day, when I look at $20, that's what you, you for sure should be doing. You should be, you should be, you should be targeting four different interest groups at, at $5 a day. Okay. How do you, how do you interpret the analytics to know which one's doing the best? Well, let's see, get out of this part real quick. Close this. Here's what you, here's what you want to do. First of all, you can look at it and, 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 and on the video view, you don't really need to look at too much, too many analytics, analytics on the video views because video views are what it is. It's video views. Uh -huh. You'll start wanting to track the analytics when you're running traffic and conversions. And so okay. when, you, when you're running a traffic or conversions ad, you're going to be looking at cost per result. You're going to be looking at results because rather than, right, like on this one, for example, under results, it has 18,000 plays. On a traffic or conversions under results, it's going to have sales. Okay. And then, and then the cost per result, it'll obviously be the cost per result. So those are kind of the only two that you really that you really need to be looking at. I mean, what's it cost to me per cell and how many cells did we get? Mm -hmm. That's really it. I mean, the okay. reach, the budget, the last significant edit, the bid strategy. I mean, none of that, none of that really is is important at all. But in, in this case, again, at, at $20 a day. Now, now, now that was good for the video. That was good for the video because that allowed us to get thousands of people to view it. Now we have a good custom audience, but from this point on, I would break that down into four and, and, and do $5 a day and, mm -hmm. and, and, and test that because again, that's going to give you the winning audience because now, now we have multiple audiences and that's what they are is multiple ad sets. Now we, now we're targeting four different keywords. Some people will put all those keywords in one, like you had dogs and that was the only one. Mm -hmm. Some people would put all four in that one and then run it from there. But that's not kind of how you want to do it because, because if you put four different keywords in that one targeting, we don't know which keyword is the one that really hit off. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to know that. I want to know, was it dogs or was it dog lovers? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I'd like to know because- because that, that, that would allow me to really, really build a good audience. And, and, and that would allow me to really get to the most relevant people. Because now I know these people are the ones that are buying. People who are actually following the dog page. Those are the people who are actually buying. So, so I want to go all in 
with that, with that audience and, and take that one to the moon. Okay. Can you show me how to duplicate those ad sets in one ad? Like, yes. So okay. let's go to, yeah, click on ads manager. Oops. I went the wrong place. <laughs> no, you're fine. And then create new. Well, actually, no, you can, let, I'll, I'll show you on this, on this Ellie walk. So okay. Let's, yeah. Let's check the box and then go to, um, because is that, yeah, because that one's off. And here's another thing that I do. Even though it's completed, it says right there in delivery and the ad is off. Uh -huh. What I always do, you don't, don't do it right now, but do it when we're done. What I always do is I always shade that blue to gray. Okay. Just because, I don't know, it, it's just a personal thing. Like when uh -huh. I look at this, I want to know that it's gray or that it's blue. I want to know that it's on or that it's off. I can easily see completed and know it's off, but just the color coordination messes with me. I don't know if it's just me, but... <laughs> But looking, okay. at it, looking at it, I wanted, I want to see gray. If it's off, it's gray. If it's on, it's blue. Okay. Okay. So got it. So go click on the second tab, add set. And all you're going to do is check on that box to the left and hit duplicate. Okay. So all we're duplicating is this and 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 you can duplicate a number of copies you can you can and that's why i'm saying like people that have a huge huge budget and in this case you can do you can do you can do three so number of copies of each ad set three that's uh -huh. if you're that that and and that that and so now facebook is gonna and and here's another thing even if you keep the budget at twenty dollars a day now we duplicate the ad set because technically what that's really saying is I'm willing to spend $20 a day on each of them. So if that's really the case, okay, now we're looking at $80 a day. Mm -hmm. But see what I'm saying is that also, what I'm also saying is that Facebook is not going to spend all that if the ad is not highly performing. So you're, and you're going to be able to look at the analytics. You're going to be able to know, okay, this one is getting clicked on. This one's getting a sales. Let me turn off these other ads. So okay. again, you can leave it at twenty dollars a day, or you can, or you could just drop it to five dollars a day, and and now now it's five dollars a day per ad set. Okay. Um, but either or, either or, it's not like you're leaving that on for the entire month. Like you're not. After a few days, you're going to be able to look at it, and you're going to see your winning campaign. Okay. So but, I would create create the ad, and then come back in here and duplicate. And yeah, create the ad and then and then and then like watch hit the blue button just let's just do one for now click duplicate okay. so we're keeping the same objective which in this case is video views but i'm telling you in the future it's going to be traffic and conversions mm -hmm. we're keeping the same um um and see so right here it wouldn't be 20 it'd be five dollars a day uh, okay but but that would that it's not changing it just here it's changing it in the beginning like in the beginning it could have been five dollars a day from the beginning you know what I mean? Right. So now we're just okay. duplicating. Yeah. Now, now we're at $10 a day because now we have two, right? Yeah. And again, after a few days, you're going to shut one off if it's not performing and only leave on the winning, okay. the winning one. So now we have the same objective. So step one remains the same. Step three, which is the actual video or the image, that stays the same. And all we're changing in this one, scroll down, all we're changing is the targeting so this part right here yeah so right here let's go with something different let's go with um i mean this th and that's why this. like knowing these keywords are, are super important as well but but at the same time type in so delete that one okay and type in let, let's see hit dog type dog and let's see what else pops up so we got dog groomer we got dog trainer we got dog walker um I know she's really wanting to target trainers. Perfect. There it is there then. Okay. So you would just do that. Just do that. Hit publish. And then close. So there, now we have two different ad sets, two different keywords running simultaneously. And after a few days, we're going to know which one is the winner. Okay. So the, the so step three, which is the ad, that remains the same. The step one, the objective, whether it was traffic conversions or video views, that stays the same. And this is just giving us the ability to see what keyword is our winner.
Okay. Okay. So, so you, you can duplicate ad sets and then you can also duplicate the ad. So in the ad, let's say, for example, we want to test a different video. Uh huh. So again, most people will either go start a whole new brand new ad around each and everything that I'm saying, or you can just test them all within the same ad and see which one's the winner. Okay. That's so much easier. That makes you know sense. I mean? Yeah. So, so rather than bulking a bunch of keywords in that targeting, just do one, one keyword at a time to see which one pops. Okay. So when I create the ad to, I above the, in the area above the targeted area, I would put my custom audiences that I created. Yeah. So go back to awesome. the ad set. Yeah. Open up one of them. Let's go hit edit. Whoops. And so right okay, here, here, custom okay. audiences, click on it, click in the box and you'll see the drop down. Okay. So I would choose all those plus my targeted interests. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So, so again, remember to include the excludes, remember to put the excludes in those. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, or, I mean, you can, yeah, I would highly recommend doing that. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't do that, you can also, you can also choose all those who you want to include, who you want to target. And then you can also hit exclude right there. Uh -huh. But you're going to also do this as well. You're going to do this on every ad as well. The exclude is going to be the audience of your purchasers. Uh -huh. So let's see if there's anything in there. Click exclude, click the box. So Kimberlyn purchase, that would go right there. Okay. 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 If I didn't exclude them in the audiences when I make them. Yeah. You want to okay. do both. You want to do both. Okay. Just to be just safe, do just, just do both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do gotcha. both for sure. Okay. I think I have a much better understanding. <laughs> that, that right there would, 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 yeah, you should definitely start to see some stuff. So what I would do trap, what I would do is, is, is ad number two, break that $20 a day per, you know, break it, break it up, just break uh -huh. it up, break it up. And, and what I would do right now, you don't necessarily have to do multiple ad sets right now, but what I would for sure do is test traffic and conversions. Okay. Like here, here's what I would do. Here's, here's exactly your game plan. Let me give you the exact game plan. Here's exactly what I would do. If we have $20 a day, then I'm going to run two different ad sets, $5 each under traffic. And I'm going to do two other ad sets, $5 each under conversions. Okay. That makes sense. And, and, then, and then run that for the next seven days and see what type of data you see. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Okay. And, and again, the only reason why I'm saying traffic is because Facebook, your pixel hasn't been warmed up. Facebook doesn't know exactly who your customer is. So you might have to start with traffic. Um, and then after Facebook starts to see some data, after you start to make some sales, um, after people start to land on these URLs that you're actually creating custom audiences around, then from that point on, um, and normally it's a few ads in, normally it's a few ads in, we got to run a few ads first. Then okay. from that point on, 100% of the time, it's conversion ads. We are looking for sales, bottom line, conversions. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much. I yes. appreciate your time. You're so, 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 much. so welcome, Shelly. I love, I love helping you out because it ends up helping me out as well. I get to, you know, create content out of it and share it with everyone. So yeah, so reach out to me anytime. We'll do these. Well, I'm willing to jump on anytime. So. All right. You're amazing. Thank you. Me. Yes. God bless you and be safe out there. Okay. All right. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.